Hi guys, welcome to Big Laws Official. So this weekend we have the Giants Live North American Open. Um, competition I really enjoyed last year, went over, was looked after so well. I mean, I, um, I got to stay with a family over there and they were just so welcoming. It was me, Mark Felix and Bill Kazmaier staying with his family and we were just treated like royalty. I would have loved to be back this year. Um, unfortunately, obviously I'm not competing right now with the Achilles. But as always, I thought I'd do a rundown of who's competing, the events and my predictions for the show. So the competition takes place in Martinsville um, and the athletes we're looking at this year, um, former champion Rob Kearney is coming back to defend his title. Him and me had a great battle last year. Unfortunately, going into the last event, Rob kind of he picked up an injury, um, not the way he wanted to finish the show, but... It gave me the chance to sneak in there and, and get the win. Um, Mark Felix is back this year. Kevin Ferris as well. He competed last year, did really, really well. Trey Mitchell, hot off his performance at World's Strongest Man. His first Worlds making the final um, straight out. That's a, a fantastic achievement. And Trey's going to, you know, he finished strong last year as well. He finished in third place, actually. Um, was he third or second, actually? I he can't was remember. second. He was, might have been second. Yeah, I think. Um, Possibly Kevin third. Yeah, that's, that's how right. They both yep. No, 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 you're right. Because Rob was in second he, place going yeah. into the stones. I think he went to fifth. And or... Yeah, he he had a nightmare. Yeah, and um, those two rip. guys finished strong. So um, yeah, uh, and and improving all the time, both of them actually. But Trey is someone to look out for. Um, Eddie Williams, everyone's favourite singer. Mm. Eddie, I've met him at World's Strongest Man this year. What a lovely guy, and actually very very strong as well. He was really good at Worlds in his first year. Very, very big, strong man. Um, going to be interesting to see how he does. Brian Benzel's coming back this year. He's been to World's Strongest Man a number of times. Didn't perform his best last year in the North American Open, but he's a dangerous competitor. He's he's like the super sub at World's Strongest Man. He stepped in a number of times last minute and, and performs brilliantly. So a couple of new names as well to look out for this year. Um, we've got Bobby Thompson competing, Andrew Clayton, Wesley Claiborne, and obviously, he was a new boy last year, but he's had a fantastic year so far. And I'm, I'm without wanting to put pressure on him, expecting big things, is um, Evan Singleton. Um, Evan has had a fantastic year. He's performed well in a few of the Arnold competitions. He's been to World's Strongest Man as a tester out there, gained loads of experience. And he's also now coming into this show. I mean, last year, I think it was one of his first shows that he's done. I think um, it, was, it was like his second or third yeah, show he'd ever done. Yeah, I think done. his first show qualified yeah. for the Giants Live. And it was a, probably a bit of a kind of learning curve. You know, you step into international shows, it is tough, but he's improved. I love watching his training videos. He's so keen. Um, just, you know, just the, the passion that he's got for it. You can tell how much kind of how much desire he's got and how much want. And I'm expecting big things of him. So without meaning to put any pressure on you um you know enjoy the show but it's going to be it's going to be tough there there's there's a lot of good names so rob kearney i would say rob's going to be going in as the favorite mm. he's had a fantastic year um and then uh, felix is always tricky felix can can really mess people up on certain events at 52 years old as well isn't he 53 now I'm not going to say he's 53. <laughs> I'm telling him. <laughs> you, can, you can say he's 53. Um, whatever. He's in his 50s yeah, and he's still he's competing at <laughs> international shows. Um, Liz loves giving Mark a load of crap. Oh, I just love Mark. <laughs> um, but Mark's still a dangerous man. Um, but let's, let's have a look at the events and then we'll kind of run down who I think is good on these, these events and where I think people will play. So the events, Yoke, which was the same as last year. Um... I really can't see anyone beating Rob on that. He's phenomenal at the yoke. Uh, we had a good battle last year. He, he's been demolishing everyone on the yoke this year in competition. Um, it's a really, really strong event for him. And I just don't see anyone touching him. I know Evans improved a lot of it. He's performed well in comps this year. And I think he'll score good points. But I just, you know, that, that event for Rob is almost a banker. Unless I'm in. And not injured. <laughs> and even then, he, he's very, very good. <laughs> Um, so they've got Axel for Max this year. Uh, Eddie Hall's record at 216 kilos. Um, what's that in pounds? It's close to... 400? No, it's more than that. Yeah. It's closer to 500. Mm -hmm. um, not quite 500, but it's, it's closer to that. Um, 
I think again, Rob, that's Rob's event. Um, Mark's not so good overhead. Brian Benzel's good overhead. Um, I think Evan's good overhead as well. There's there's going to be a number of guys that can perform well. Um, they're talking of trying to break the world record. I don't know if there's anyone going to push high enough for a world record. Um, Rob's the one guy that's probably capable of it. He can definitely press it. The thing with the axle is the diameter of the, the thickness of the bar. And, and it doesn't rotate like an Olympic bar. It's much harder to clean than, say, a log or kind of like a standard bar. Um, and that's where the challenge is going to be for the guys. I don't think the press is going to be too much of an issue. Um, but I, I think I've seen Rob doing 190 in training. Look good, but I don't know how much more he had in the clean. But I think around 190 is probably going to be enough to, to get the win. Um, I think you need the real kind of monsters, monster presses there pushing to get a world record. Uh, I think if Rob's smart, he'll just focus on winning the show, qualifying for World's Strongest Man, and waiting for a bigger opportunity to break the record. But that being said, Rob's a, you know, he's keen and he's, he's hungry to break records, so I might be totally wrong, and he may jump straight for a world record attempt. Um, which again is, I mean, if you, if you do win with a low enough number, that's not a bad idea to do. If you're going to go for a record, take a big jump and just have a crack at it. But I, I think if he, if he wants some old man's advice, I just focus on getting the win and, and focusing on the rest of the competition. Um, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> we know I'm not always right. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Max Axel, front bar car deadlift. So like it's just a car deadlift but with a bar at the front that's mark felix's kind of event mark's a deadlift machine particularly for reps um he, he's so good at deadlift and and still even now i mean maybe not quite as good for max but for repetitions his endurance in his back is phenomenal and he just manages to keep going and going and going he always performs well on those type of events. It's very rare he gets beat even even guys like eddie struggle to beat mark sometimes um, on a deadlift for reps, particularly if it's not really, really on the heavy end. I'm not sure what the weight is. I don't have the weights. Um, I haven't had the weights given to me on in terms of what they are lifting. So I'm going to guess it's going to be around the 340, 350 mark, 350 kilos. Um, and, you know, it's a decent weight. But And on a car as well, it's never the same as on a bar. It's... You know, they'll say the weight, but at various heights, it, it changes. And Mark's very, very good on car deadlift. So I think that's going to be a good event for him to pick up some points again. they got Farmer's Walk this year. Uh, Farmer's Walk, which, again, is another great event for Mark Felix. I know Evan's getting better. Uh, and this is probably the one event that holds Rob back a little bit. His grip isn't quite as, as, as good. Um, it's the one event that maybe he'll drop some points on and it could make the competition closer. I really feel Rob's the favourite going into this show with the events, but this is maybe one event that some of the other guys can catch some points. Kevin Ferris. Kevin is very, very good at Farmer's Walk. He, I think he won the frame last year that we did. Uh, he moves really, really quickly. Uh, so watch out for him on the Farmer's. So, you know, there could be a few people that manage to beat Rob on that event and, and make things interesting going into... The Atlas Stones, Atlas Stones standard in Strongman these days, almost in every competition. I think from a personal point of view, I'd like to see some different events. Um, not, I love Stones, but it's just there in every competition. I think it would be nice to have some competition, maybe some natural Stones or, or just something different to end the competition. It doesn't always have to be Atlas Stones. It's sort of, Strongman's evolved and it's now like, right, every competition ends on Atlas Stones. But it wasn't always like that. There's been many, many World's Strongest Man competitions with no Atlas Stones whatsoever. Um, so it's, you know, I think it's a fine event. I like it. I think it's good. But I don't know that we need it every single comp because it just gets boring. It's the same. I, I like variety in terms of Strongman. Um, so maybe Giants Live or one of the competitions will put on something dear other than Atlas Stones as the last event in a show just to just to mix things up a little bit but Get um, crazy. yeah well there's so many events that we can choose from you know uh, you've probably got 50 to 100 events that you can you know where when you start changing whether it's reps max you know throwing events moving events there's so many different events out there i think it doesn't always have to be Atlas Stones to finish a show but 
you, I won the Atlas Stones last year and it, and it won the show for me. So, you know, from a per, from a, from an athlete's point of view, they're, they're, they're fine. I, I think Stones is always one of those events that if you're going into the Stones in a good position and it's the last event, then you tend to do better. If you sort of drifted away from the kind of, you know, top three or the, the chasing pack, if you like to get to the qualifying spots for World's Strongest Man, people tend to not try as hard. Um, and most shows you see, it's the guys going in that are challenging for the title that will do best on stones. Um, but that was just, you know, just a quick video on this weekend's competition. It's going to be live streamed on Official Strongman, I believe. Um, I will double check myself, but um, they seem to be live streaming most of the shows. Last year it wasn't on Official Strongman, was it? But they did stream it on you on facebook i watched it on a facebook page called train strongman there you go so you go. i'm sure it's going to be you know we'll, we'll search for it and try and find out for sure um i'm going to try and watch it because you know i i really did enjoy the show last year it wasn't the the biggest production in terms of like giants live it's not quite as big as maybe say the the um live events in the uk but i really enjoyed the experience that the fans that were there were brilliant the organisation was really good. Everyone involved, kind of behind the scenes in Martinsville, was really good. Um, they got a nice team that worked together, and the weather was good as well last year, which always yeah. makes it fun. Do you know what? This year it would have been really good events for you as well, wouldn't it? Uh, it was good events last year, to be honest, yeah. and they, this year is good events as well. But it's not about me today, unfortunately. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, maybe next year I can go back if they're doing it next year. I might get an invite. But um, I'm going to enjoy watching it, predicting. Rob Kearney to come out on top with Evan Singleton second and a real battle between, God, there's so many. Trey. Trey could be second or third. Brian Benzel, if he puts in a good performance. Felix, Kevin. There's lots of guys that could be battling for that third spot, I think. And is this an official qualifier for next year's world? Yes, it is. All the Giants Live are official qualifiers, so the top three will be guaranteed their spot of World's Strongest Man next year. Um... That's about it on that. Everything to fight for then, because none of... Oh, no. I guess Trey might have qualified. Oh, I don't know. Who knows? Well, <laughs> most, fight most, fight, most fight, yeah. Well, that's yeah. another video. Most finest for World's Strongest Man. But, um, Do you sneak back in? Yeah, but um, that's, that's another <laughs> it's video. It's not guaranteed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to be careful we don't spoil things as well. I know in America right now, they are showing World's Strongest yeah. Man. So. Um, and most people watching this will know the results of World's, so yeah. I'm not too worried. But if I have I've kind of spoiled things for you, I do apologise. <laughs> blame Liz. <laughs> <laughs> we'll always blame Liz.